Hello guys, Ivan here and here we are in the new Mercedes EQS 450 Plus. So in this video we are going to take a look at the exterior interior and of course we are going for a drive. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below what do you think about the new EQS and overall impressions. Let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified for all new videos. So now let's start. Hello guys, Ivan here and here we are with the new Mercedes EQ EQS 450 plus. So this is uh, my first meeting with this car. So in this video I will show you exterior interior infotainment system and also we will go for a drive. Also I will film night drive because soon it will be night time. But uh, that will be probably separate video. So whichever is first stay tuned for the second video. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So the new EQS. Let's take a look on this car. So this is the first flagship model of the Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes EQ. And basically this is the first vehicle which was built on the all-electric platform. So no other vehicle was built first on a fully electric platform because the other uh, battery EVs were on the traditional platform which was uh, essentially customized. So here we are looking at the first one and immediately we can see this design of the vehicle, this like uh, bubbly or uh, Mercedes calls it one bow design. So basically this has this very aerodynamic design which essentially gives you the most available range so that's why Mercedes chose to build this car in this way so they can give you the most range so as you can see the whole car is like one floating line it starts from the it ends here and starts from the front so the front part the so-called bonnet is very not very but it's shorter than it's usual so here the EQS this is like electric S-Class so the length of this vehicle is 5.2 meters quite a large vehicle in person so from the front we can see we have here uh, this line which is not the AMG line but in the future video I will also show you 580 hopefully that one is uh, coming to the channel so stay tuned for that the AMG line could be uh, available in this car so if you want you can spec it the front bumper will look a little bit different so here we have this new this new signature of the daylight running stripes uh, which connects uh, in the middle with this light bar so very unique design we can say we have three three stripes here indicating that this is a uh, like S class. S class has also three, E class has two and the C class has one. Aerodynamic of this car is really amazing because it's the best in the world. So essentially uh, you want to have at least a drag in this car so it doesn't it, it cuts through the air very nicely with this shape and uh, 0 0.20 is the world like record for the passenger cars and this car uh, basically achieved the 0.20 direct coefficient value CD uh, but I believe that's with a fully closed wheels so these wheels are like half open so maybe the drag coefficient is a little bit different but still it's very very amazing you can see the glass and front bonnet they are like almost same angle a little bit different but almost the same can you see the whole car is really floaty so the front bonnet you cannot open it so uh, here is a little part which you press and you can 
or here your windshield washer fluid. Here in this triangle we can see QS and the interior I will show you shortly is very nice and beige bright interior. So let me know what you think about this design, this like floating design here you can see we have the air curtains so on the side of the vehicle the air is passing through the sides but I believe it's in AMG line yeah here it's fully here is fully closed but in AMG line uh, there are air curtains also the underbody had to be adjusted in order to have the better aerodynamic drag also we have these pop-up handles So you can see they are also illuminated. So this uh, EV is really, um, we can say, the most luxury EV on the market because, uh, yeah, it's really luxurious. Unlike other uh, EV vehicles. So here is the 450. There is also 580 and also the 53 AMG version. So here on this rear bumper we can see this like a chrome line. So this is like uh, something similar to the exhaust, but it's more like a styling. And here we can see the new design of the tail lamps. It, it has this like a, like a spiral. Very 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 interesting. And it's also connecting in the middle, the same as in the front. So the whole car, whole car is very aerodynamic. Also, it has here this lip, and it's very flat on the on the end, so the air can pass through the car. And this is the most aerodynamic design. Everything is based on the aerodynamics with this car, in terms of exterior design. Here we don't have the night nice package. So around the windows you can see chrome line. Also here on the lower part, the side skirts. And in terms of the wheels, we have quite large wheels. I noticed that immediately. And these wheels are purely P0. And I believe these are also EV tires. So here you can see like electric tires. And also they have this foam, purely noise cancelling system, so there is foam which makes the road noise quieter. So the tire size is 265, 35, 22, 102H, so this is load and speed index. So basically electric tires gives you, give you more range and uh, yeah, if you have electric car it's better to have these kind of tires, 265, 35, so it's the same. Yeah, basically it's the same on all on the front and the rear axle. So this car is real drive because it doesn't have here the formatic, but you can get it uh, as well if you want formatic version. And here we have the real drive. I believe this is in obsidian black. Alright, guys. So here I turned on the flash, and you can see this glitters the glitters so this is obsidian black metallic so the obsidian black the most traditional uh, black color for the Mercedes Benz and AMG EQ uh, every car basically power of this 450 plus is 333 horsepower 568 Newton meters of torque the pound feet of torque will be on the screen the acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour happens only in 6.2 seconds and the top speed is 210 kilometers per hour so uh, this is basically the entry level right now for the EQS also here is the charging port so here you can see they now uh, change a little bit here so there is no ceiling here on the charging port but you have a ceiling here the rubber and also here you can see all the charging information uh, stuff like that and basically also you can disconnect this then you can charge faster with the CCS 
basically it has the fast charging capability so from 10 to 80 percent in only half an hour which is really amazing and if you have a home charger then it will take a couple of hours a little bit longer so we have here 107.8 uh, kilowatt hour usable battery 120 um, is the official capacity but a little bit less is the usable capacity so 631 is the range of this vehicle which is really amazing because so far uh, like almost every EV had really small range only few uh, of the cars have uh, like a larger range so this one is really amazing in this case and some models have even 700 kilometers so the miles will be on the display as always and if you go down to 10% then you can fast charge in half an hour if you have stop for a lunch or, or uh, the break anyway you need to, to have a break after a few hours of driving anyway so uh, you can charge in half an hour so basically yeah it's very usable also for the road trips some people which I know already did a road trip in this car and it was flawless but also it depends on your charging infrastructure in what kind of condition it is so I have a charging card here so maybe later or tomorrow I will try the charging so far I have about 70% charged or I guess so let's unlock the car and let's check the interior Mercedes star illuminated handles so here we have this beautiful beige you can see the illumination here so this is how the interior looks here with ambient lighting from outside maybe lighting also in the seats almost nobody is here right now grey I believe and macchiato beige and this is the hyper screen here you can see the new seats for the EQS and now with color ambient lighting we can move here the seats these are capacitive buttons similar to those in the S-Class as you can see here they are basically the same and here we have like a brown wood decor so here you can see illuminated Mercedes vans in the doors and here is like a tunnel underneath the middle tunnel so additional storage space also illumination is in the seats and the rear I will show you later we can do like a quick check so here is the rear all right so let's hop in and check out the interior of the new EQS we have also panoramic roof so let's hop on board and we have hyper screen uh, you can also get like automatic electric closing doors also if you like move with your hand a hand or press on the brake pedal but this car is not equipped uh, with it so uh, maybe the future on which I will test I will show you but uh, basically yeah, it's it's uh, very easy so here you need to close them still no sound but maybe if I press here the button All right, guys. So here is the front part, the front row from the back row, from the second row. So here is how this looks. So let me know how do you like this futuristic cockpit of the EQS. Still no sound. So maybe I need to like start. So foot on the brake. Okay. Okay now uh, we get the sound and also can you hear the car has like like this sound 
And if I turn it off, we don't have anything. And we have two sounds so far. So silver waves or vivid or vivid flux. So if you are standing, like stationary, if you are stationary, it has this sound, like spaceship sound, or I'm not sure how to how to uh, say about this, but basically now it's quiet. Can you hear? Also, the sound experience works when you are uh, driving, so we will actually. Uh, experience that later. We have also winter tail limit, don't need uh, that right now. And yeah, a bunch of stuff we have here. So basically the hyper screen here is 141 centimeters or 56 inches, I believe. From one pillar to the another one is screen. But basically uh, these are three screens merged under one uh, and the sheet of glass, so basically it's uh, here you can see that here you can see the displays passenger and the central display, but it's done really well, so uh, especially during night you will not see that uh, the difference between the displays. So this one is passenger display. I'm not exactly sure how you can. Uh, Activate it more, but here you can like uh, change. We have OLED panels and also the LCD panel here. So you can see the design of this car is really futuristic. Also, these turbines and they have a uh, really smooth. Also, this is AC, the sound. Yeah, now it's super quiet. We can turn on the AC, so it's uh, the, air, the air is fresh enough. So here we can see these turbine vents, so they are really easy to operate. If you change it like this, then you can close it or open it. And those are the vents, you can also find them in the new SL, and uh, let's see, maybe also in different models. So in the middle we have these like slim vents. So this is combination of these turbine vents and of these like slim vents. So these you can move here. So I like to blow air out, not on me, but in different direction. But I can feel that the, the, the air is more fresh here. And that's because this car has special uh, filters, HEPA filter. 99.8 or 7 something like that also we have lights so I can turn them off uh, here so these are digital lights so also we have Burmester surround sound system also the speaker one speaker is there it's like hidden in the doors very very cool interior and uh, the finish is amazing as we know from the Mercedes-Benz Everything is really uh, nice and premium. Every yeah, everything basically. So now let's continue here with the steering wheel. So this one is the steering wheel which is new, but uh, this one is more like avant-garde line. So uh, the AMG one has these two parts here, which I like more. But this one is also nice. Capacity buttons, they are like. Uh, Flat, so they are based on a touch. Here is airbag, and this one is, uh, yeah, this one is like smooth finish, but not the leather. But I believe this can be also in leather. Yeah, this is the steering wheel, which we also know from the S class. What is new is here this design for the EQS, and also here you can see already it's like a movement. We have also this huge head-up display, so you can see it there, so we will experience that during drive. Uh, but here you can see we have this sport display, so here if I press the home button, we can see that we have uh, just by swiping, 
that we have a understated sport classic navigation assistance and service so similar as in the S class but uh, a little bit different design you can also change the color of the understated mode and also the ambient lighting changes so very curious about this then we have the sport mode Actually here you can see the speed here is the for the distronic and assistance systems uh, here is a range you can also get minimum and maximum range so 445 kilometers would be maximum range on the current charge and minimum 308 and average is 365 so depending on your driving style this is actually really good i really like that you can get uh, the minimum number because some people are they have range anxiety maybe you maximize it by different i will show you later in the menu then you can get almost 140 kilometers more also you can see it here so very interesting uh, yeah very interesting also we have a normal recuperation and you need to be in drive but I believe we have no recuperation so here if I press this pedal uh, on the steering wheel then uh, I can select no recuperation and we have D plus so the car will basically float on the, on the ground and if I press minus we have normal or increased recuperation so we can try how this drives uh, as well let's put it back in park so that's basically it for the sport mode the classic mode is very similar to understated but you have some information in the middle yeah you cannot change what is shown here and also here so this is like fixed here is a speed and here is percentage uh, of power how much power you are using and percentage of charge and here in the middle you can change what is shown here and actually here i'm at the mall so this one is 50 kilowatt so here you can see from start the fuel consumption was 25.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and uh, yeah this is a demo car so people probably tried acceleration etc for 126 kilometers which is like 75 miles 2 hours 15 minutes 56 kilometer was the average and from reset this car has 28.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in 16 hours and 367 kilometers so i think and, uh, in this time this time is counting if you are like stationary but the car is turning on and also then the speed lowers the same as in the petrol or diesel car so then we have eco display range also shown here in different way consumption attention assist radio and this is the map navigation this is a large map also uh, i believe there we had some other chargers and here we have assistance so this is based on assistance systems it will show your cars around and service uh, here you can see the tire pressures tire temperatures when is next service actually next service is 723 days so uh, this car doesn't need the service as often as diesel or petrol so that's basically it so i will leave it here in the classic mode so we can try to check out here now the middle screen for the central display now you can see on the edges of the display the screen like dims so you don't see the edge i think this is on purpose so it looks like merged together also here you cannot see like when 
where the displays ends so that's very very good design also and uh, central displays is is uh, designed in a way that you have something called the zero layer which basically brings you everything what you use often to the front of the screen so it will the, the car will learn what you do with the car what you use most often and that thing will be on the forefront so you just would need to tap like somewhere and it will show you the function on the lower part always is the AC controls so here you can see we saw that also in the new S class so if you don't get the hyper screen here because this is optional extra then you have the same display setup as in the S class so you will have one screen here another screen here and here on this side we'll have like a decor so yeah uh, looks a little bit different than here and uh, but the like the vibe here is the same also the vents so it's not exactly the same as in, like in the S-Class so here we can see this middle tunnel uh, very interesting design also here some additional storage space also here is like a can you see like a band so you can put something here and it will not float maybe your phone maybe something else very good design actually I really like this because otherwise it could like float here which is really good also here we have some like tunnel very interesting oh here is something no so yeah also here you can see we have two USB-C ports here in the middle we can find dynamic select for driving styles driving menus the, here is the wood decor really nice and if you put this away here we have wireless charging for your phone, two USB-C ports, some storage space and we have here two cup holders which are adjustable and you can close it like this. Okay, also here on the top, if you press, you can activate, so this is by touch. So here, one more time, the EQS with the ceiling light you can check it out i think it's really good to see during night it looks really amazing so here in the middle we can see a dynamic select for driving mode this is for park drink parking cameras eq mode for electric functions vehicle mode hazard lights start stop this is for the fingerprint reader so you can unlock your car settings with uh, the touch of your finger you can turn off the system and mute the volume this is for the volume level so that's basically it here in the middle you can see we have some storage space so it's quite large also here we have another phone charger wireless charging mat and also two USB C ports so together we have six USB C ports and two um, wireless charging for your phone so you can charge eight phones at once six phones by a cable and two phones via wireless and here the storage space is quite deep so you can put many stuff here very interesting it has almost like the texture which is like um, on the wetsuits when the divers are going uh, in the water very interesting actually yeah and here we have the seats so they look like this you have also the soft pillows and diamond stitching with seat heating and seat ventilation and also the illumination and also the seats are illuminated here so everything is illuminated in the GLS Maybach also the roof here we don't have the roof illuminated so yeah that <laughs> maybe would be overkill or maybe in the Maybach versions we will see that so here is the uh, beige leather you can see 
fantastic stitching everywhere, diamond stitching and the leather is super smooth, high quality you can see here like a small white line of the leather small and larger perforation seats are heated and weight lighted very comfortable and yeah, really, really nice seats also here on the sides you can see that these bolsters and also there they have like different pattern so they are different so really interesting as well and the seats yeah they can be moved same as in the C class same principle really cool design of the seats I have to say on the top here we have this floating panel with uh, ambient lighting as well so I think we can now check something what many people want to see and that's the ambient lighting we have here now the monochrome colors we have also multicolor and essentially here we have the 64 individual colors also the haptic feedback of the if you touch the screen and move this can be turn it off if you don't want it and yeah this is like a pink shade here we have some like a bright yellow in terms of the brightness here we are at 20 so uh, the most visible is I think 1 or 64 one of those I think 64 but they are similarly the most the, the blue one the blue shades are the most visible in every Mercedes with ambient lighting with the, in the new cars new car lineup and yeah that's the brightness can also have different um, sections light up in different way so we can turn off everything and now turn on so in the direct is here you can also see it here so it's in the seats in the vents and in the rear also here in the doors so that's direct the indirect is underneath the display and direct was this one this smaller line here this one and indirect is everything else here around the, this panel and in the door cards underneath the console so that's actually brightening up the car quite a lot accent accents that's only the seat yes also the driver's seat in the rear we don't have anything and also here so this is actually really cool the accent I think uh, if you don't really want a lot of ambient lighting but you still want something you can do that uh, as well and light, light strip is here and also in the back okay so now we can for example go like five so you can get lower brightness as well so it doesn't need to shine like crazy okay so now we can turn everything to the maximum here we have also some effects so operating feedback warning assistant and multicolor animations so if you see like uh, pulsating on the camera this is only on the camera not in the real life okay also uh, here in color we can change to the multicolor options and this one is called energy shine so this is new uh, new color for the EQS uh, we didn't have this in the S class here we have the Malibu sunset so this is known from the S class and also the C class 
Then we have a Chrome Shine. We know this one as well. This is like a light blue. And this is like a yellow. And then we have a Ultramarine. This one is quite bright and it changes from blue to the... You can see like a... So you can see this color changes from like a violet to the pink. Also here in effects we have a multicolor animation so we can turn it off. That one would like a change the colors. So here now you can see this is a pink and it goes towards the blue basically in one stripe. So that's also new for S-Class and EQS that in one stripe it can have different colors and also like transition of the colors. And then ocean blue. This also goes from green to blue. And burning blue. Also what I noticed here in energy shine i think this will uh, so i think this will change bands on the driving style so let's see during driving portion and uh, yeah here we have burning blue gesture detected driver so we can have uh, select the favorite for the gesture yes so we can have a gesture here now but uh, yeah, that's for uh, another time. So here uh, we can see burning blue. This one is red one, very popular. You can see here in the vents is like uh, red. Yeah, and here from the blue towards the here we can see green. So also interesting choice. Here we can see fresh cyan, green and blue. Here is a Miami Rose. So this goes from the green towards the pink and like a red is here underneath the console and a violet. So that one is really interesting as well. Here we have Venice Pink. Also the windows in the meantime they cleared up. And here we can see Jungle Green. So this is a combination of the green colors with blue also. So here is like a light blue, like a turquoise. And here is like a green. So really futuristic in terms of the ambient lighting. Uh, let's check first the message. So here you can see all kinds of messages. We know this from the S class. So it's also here in the EQS. Here in the info you can see uh, you can see your energy flow and how many batteries are charged. Here in EQ menu you can see uh, charging options. So standard. You can optimize charging programs to suit your charging needs. You can have a home for work or st standard. For example, for home, you can have a, based on location, unlock charging cable. You can do standard. Eco charge, so you can have it uh, only charge up to 80%. And for example, here, eco charge have some information here so eco charge decreases the strain on the battery when charging and can help pro prolong the natural aging process of the batteries by functional vehicle adjust the charge power and the start time of your charging process based on the departure time to optimize the battery charge and still ensure that the set charge level is reached at the time of departure the maximum set charge level will be reduced to 80% as fully charged batteries age more quickly. The charging power is reduced. This can lead to longer charging times at DC quick charging stations.
and I believe here you can put uh, how much you want to charge like 50% is the minimum and maximum is 100% uh, here you can select the departure time and dates uh, days of the week and times charging inter interruption For example, you can uh, have periods when the charging is paused to save electricity cost. Very good feature as well. Here the range. So, if you restrict the climate control, it can give you two kilometers. Uh, seat comfort. If you don't have any like functions, so right now I don't have any, so that's zero kilometers. Eco drive functions, if you activate it, you can get 38 kilometers more. And for the interior, if you restrict functions, you can get 2 kilometers. So, 2 kilometers is not much, but 38 it's quite a lot. So, um, yeah, if you drive in eco mode, you will have a low, uh, you will have more uh, range. Consumption, so here is nice display. You can see here from start, you can close the door. All right, here we have illuminated door handles, once again. And here are the rear seats. They look like this. So now we can hop on board the CD set as I would drive. So basically, we can test if I can see it here, behind myself. I will, I will just turn on the CD heating. Alright guys, so here is the front part, the front row from the back row, from the second row. So here is how this looks. So let me know how do you like this futuristic cockpit of the EQS. I also turn it the seat heating for the seat, so it's nice and warm. So this is my seating position. This is how much space do I have. So like this. I would say this is uh, about 10 centimeters, maybe a little bit more, 12 centimeters, quite a lot of space for my knees. So here we can see the menus for the AC, so here is 4 zone AC, so uh, every corner of this car has different uh, settings for the AC. Here I think could be the hanger for a jacket, here is light, pretty strong, also you can light up everything here in the rear which now turns this car in very bright uh, car because you have also lights here and you have one wand here so I think we can turn it lower now the seat heating Burmester speaker here you can see illuminating in the doors and here in the middle you can see this is for the cell phones, the holder. If you press more, you have these hidden cup holders. So here you can place your arm in the middle. Also, you can see there are some additional speakers. And that was teaching in the seats, same as in the front. Here is this white line. Maybe we can uh, turn it on, okay. So here you can see the white line and the beige leather here are the connections for the isofix you need to just physically pull them like this and this actually can be hidden here this middle seat Here is some additional storage space as well. And you have a carpet here. Very nice indeed. And yeah, everything here is really nice in the vehicle. Really premium materials. So also here you can customize and move this. Same I can show you here. Very good customization, and here we have two sections of the of the roof. So yeah, this is uh, 
the rear section. Alright guys, so right now I'm in the back seat of the EQS. Above my head I have, I would say, this amount of the space, like this. So 3-4 centimeters. In comparison with the S-Class you are sitting uh, higher because of the battery pack, I think. And uh, yeah, the angle of the seat is different because of the battery pack. I will try to film comparison side by side, S-Class and the EQS. So let me know if you would be interested to see them side by side, these two flagships. In terms of the um, room for the shoulders, I think it's fine, uh, it's spacious, so yeah, that's good. And I can place my, my arm here, that also gets so. So overall the space here is really good. I'm 186, 87 centimeters, 6 feet between 1 and 2 inches. So uh, yeah, that's my height. So uh, yeah, I can fit here. Even taller people than me I think could, could fit here. So in terms of the EVs, I think this is one of the most uh, spacious EV on the market, if not the most spacious one. Also one more look uh, at the knees, so this is how much room I have for my knees. Yeah, quite a, quite a lot. So I can also place my feet under the seat, even though the seat is almost in the lowest position. So that's also pretty cool. Alright guys, so now let's check the boot capacity. So I believe Yes, so if you place your leg below the bumper it will open. Also this opens together with the rear door and window. So this is like a cloth. This is actually like a lift back, so like a GT4 door. Lift back, hatchback and you can also tow with this vehicle. So you have tow hook here, like this, also you can put it back. So here we have 610 liters, this is 60 more than in the S-Class, so and here I have my trolley. This is like a cabin size for the plane, and a backpack, and here is just a, a just bag. So you can put quite a lot of stuff here, as you can see, several of these trolley bags, so quite a good usability. And also the split of the rear seats is 40-20-40, so you can put only the middle part down and essentially you can get like a ski hatch. So uh, where can I do that? Yes, here, see, so you can fold the scene like this. You have a little step there, but it's not big. And also you can put only the middle one. You can put it down like this. And essentially it could be for golf bags or for the skis or other long objects which you can put here. And still two people can sit here, which is really great. Okay. So really great practicality as well with EQS. And also if you kick under, or if you press here the button, you can close the boot. So let's try it. Maybe you need to do like the, yeah, this kind of maneuver. So yeah guys, uh, that's about it in terms of the exterior interior. We can do one more walk around with these 22 inch tires. And this is how the car looks in the night, fully, fully nighttime, with lights 
and light bar but you know how to like this aerodynamic slash futuristic uh, design so it's something very unusual I have to say also be lighting on the mall and uh, yeah very very interesting and futuristic so let me know how do you like this EQS so I think it's time to drive finally so let's go and drive the EQS